Hi everyone, Nico from Popcorn Sunday Animation here. In the last video, I showed you how to reverse engineer a piece of high-res art to give it a pixel art look. Now, I'm going to start showing you how to make pixel art from scratch. When I started recording this tutorial, my plan was to do a big demo on technique. But then I realized that when I'm looking at tutorials, about half the time, I just want to know where the heck the button is that makes it do what I want it to do. So I'll save technique for another video, and today just focus on those couple key settings and tools you need to create pixel art. The great thing is that no matter what software you use, the process is largely the same. The only thing that's really different between software is what settings or tools are called and how you get to them. So I'm going to show you that in Photoshop, Clip Studio Paint, and GIMP. That way, no matter which software you have access to, you'll be covered. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to be using this rough sketch I did for a classic RPG overworld map. If you watched the last video, you might recall that Photoshop likes to control anti-aliasing in quite a few different places. So the first thing we want to do is just go up to Edit, Preferences, General and make sure that under image interpolation nearest neighbor preserve hard edges is what we have selected if something else is selected you just want to click on that little drop down and select nearest neighbor then hit ok so next up we want to resize our image you just go up to image image size and you want to make sure that your unit size is set to pixels um, oftentimes you might have it set to inches or percent. Um, those will not help you right now. Everything should be in pixels. And then as you can see, this is really huge right now. So we just want to scale it down to a more workable level. Um, another setting you might want to know about is this little uh, link icon here. This maintains the proportions. Um, if this is unclicked and they're not linked, you'll see that it will smoosh your proportions and you'll get some really weird results. So make sure that that's checked. That way everything maintains consistent. And then we can just click OK. While we're talking about the image menu, um, another setting you'll want to know about is how to change your color space. So if you go to image, mode, you'll see right now I'm in grayscale. So I can only draw in grayscale. Um, instead, I'm going to want to be in RGB color. Um, anytime you're producing anything for screens, whether it is a computer screen, a TV screen, a Game Boy, you want to make sure that you're in RGB color. Um, that just gives you the best color fidelity. Then we can zoom in using the magnifying glass get more down to a pixel level if you hold alt you can zoom out let go of alt and you can zoom in um, as I mentioned before you're going to want to keep your art on separate layers that way you don't end up accidentally drawing on your canvas on your original art and messing it up. So this right down here, it creates a new layer. Make sure the layer underneath is locked. Um, if for some reason you don't see this or um, you know, you're clicking around doing something, you don't know what you hit, but you closed it um, and you can't find it. Anytime that happens, don't panic. Just go up to window and this has all the various panels in it um, that you can pull out. So we just find layers, and there it is, right back where it belongs. Okay, so now we just select the brush, make sure it's at one pixel, and you'll notice that we have a problem. It's giving us this big, chunky, anti-aliased line. Definitely not what we want. Um, anytime you're working in pixel art, you're actually going to want to use the pencil tool. So I just click and hold on the brush tool, 
and then I can select the pencil tool. And as you'll see, that will give me a nice alias line I can draw right at the pixel level like I want to. So that's what you need for drawing. Now for erasing. Grab the eraser tool. We notice it's set to one pixel. Everything should be fine, but nope. Yet again, we're getting anti-aliasing. That's because Photoshop conveniently hides a little setting up here for you. And believe me, it, it took me quite a while and quite a bit of frustration to figure out where the heck it hid this. Um, but you just want to find Mode, and you'll see right here where it says Brush. You want to switch that to Pencil. And ta-da! Nice, clean, you can erase one pixel at a time. Um, finally, just for fun, if you're not sure how to change the color of your brush, these are your color... This, these are your color swatches right here. You can just double click on it, pick whatever color you like, click OK, and we're in business. So yeah, that does it for Photoshop. Now let's do the same thing in Clip Studio Paint. Once again, we'll start by resizing the image. So in this case, we're going to go to Edit, Change Image Resolution. Now once again, uh, we're actually ignoring resolution. We're just going to change the size. Um, so make sure that you are selected on pixel as your unit. Where it says how to correct, go for hard outline because we're doing pixel art. Smooth would uh, alias it. And then once again, you can just change that size and click OK. Zoom tool is right up at the top. So let's zoom in a little bit. The layers should be in the same spot. Um, once again, if you lose your layers, just go under Window, and you can turn on or off your layer window. But now the Create a New Layer is right up here. Whether it's a raster layer or a vector layer, I don't believe affects anything, but I'm going to go with raster layer. Once again, because raster deals with pixels, and Vector does not. So, just to be safe, I'm going to go with that. Okay, so instinctively you may be thinking of clicking on the Pencil tool. You'll see in Clip, Pencil is now not our friend. Instead, this time, we want to go to the Pen tool, and then there's, a, uh, there's two tabs here. We actually want to pick Marker, and you'll see what's called Dot Pen. And this one is the one that gives you your nice aliased pixel line. So now for eraser, pick a hard eraser. And I already have mine set up working correctly. Hopefully yours just works right out of the gate. But if it doesn't, there's a couple settings you want to look at. So find your tool properties panel. Make sure your brush size is set to 1. This is your aliasing, so for instance, if we uh, click this, you'll see that, again, it aliases the eraser tool, so make sure you have that set to none. And then our color picker, we can either double click here for it, it will also show up down here, and yeah, that's how to do this in Clip. Onward to GIMP. If you're used to using Photoshop, then you're going to find a lot of things in GIMP to be really familiar to you. The only thing is it just has a couple of slightly different terms for what you do, but the process is largely the same. So for instance, to resize your image, you go to Image, Scale, and then since we're working in pixels, we want to make sure that our unit's set to pixels. And I know from before that I like a width of 1000. Shouldn't matter, but just to be on the safe side, I'll switch my interpolation to none. And then in your toolbox, just like Photoshop, magnifying glass zooms you in and out. But unlike Photoshop, instead of holding Option or Alt, you're going to hold Control to change your zoom direction. Spacebar will still 
uh, let you move your canvas around. So now go to Image, Mode, RGB to switch it into color. And then you can just double click on the color swatch to select the color you want. Now to make a layer, just go to Layer, New Layer, make sure it's set to Transparency, and you'll see that that has appeared on the right hand side in the panel that says Layers Brushes. So as usual with pixel art, the pencil tool is your friend, so click on that. Then you'll see next to where it says Brush, there is a little box. Just click on that and that gives you a whole bunch of different presets. And you'll notice the first one, conveniently, is that hard pixel brush. Just make sure that your size is set to 1. And that's all you need. So now for the eraser, you'll see that the anti-aliasing problem has reared its head again. Uh, there's a couple things we want to check to fix that. First, look for dynamics and make sure dynamics are off. Second, um, looking a little bit lower in the menu, you'll see something called hard edge. Click that checkbox and now, as you can see, we have a lovely one pixel hard eraser. And that's it. The process from there is all the same no matter what you use. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this at least a little bit helpful. If you have any questions, just post a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. Check back next time when I'll be getting into the artistic side of actually drawing pixel art. Bye!